Uh, this is joint work with uh, Fielder Broca, Reno Dector, and Alex Dealer. Uh, we pre in this work, we present a new sampling scheme for approximating <clears throat> hard to compute queries over graphical models using the notion of abstractions. Um, abstractions are widely used in AI, such as, for example, in planning. Um, also in um, uh, sampling, known as stratification, and so we'll show that the notion of abstractions can be um, potentially useful uh, for control for algorithms that solve NP-hard queries, such as product sum queries. Um, so after some background, I'll uh, explain the main idea of our approach, then I'll um, describe some two variations of, of our algorithms, the OR version and ENDOR version, then I'll um, provide some properties, and finally, I'll, I'll give some experimental results with some observations um, showing the, um, the, the performance of our scheme. Um, graphical models are <coughs> formal, uh, a formal framework widely applicable to a wide variety of applications and problem types, based on networks, micro networks, and so on. Um, formally, a graphical model <coughs> consists of a set of variables, a um, set of domains. Uh, for us here, we assume that domains are finite and discrete, and then set of functions or factors. Um, and then there is a combination operator that uh, defines an overall function from the factors, such as, for example, joint probability distribution as a product of individual factors. Um, and then we have some inference tasks um, to compute some quantity of interests from the distribution, such as marginal distribution on a variable. Um, and here the uh, constant z is a normalizing constant known as the partition function. Um, while our approach is more generally applicable to graphical models for a variety of tasks, in this paper we focus on computing the partition function. Um, okay, so um, let's first um, briefly mention search tree. Search tree a search base represents an organized collection of partial configurations traversed um, by a search algorithm in some systematic fashion. Um, so given a problem in the top left, um, an or a so-called or search tree is given here, and here we instantiate variables one at a time, level by level, um, and at the bottom we have solutions or full configurations. Um, we can gain substantial <coughs> improvement in efficiency by taking advantage of conditional independencies. Um, so for here, for example, after we instantiate A and B, the problem is split into two um, conditionally independent parts. Um, so we can traverse instead here the end or search graph. Um, and we can gain further efficiency by um, eliminating um, repeating or identical solve problems, and so that gives us so-called context minimal search graphs uh, for both the OR and AND-OR case. Um, sampling is a way to avoid full enumeration by using randomization to pick typical nodes that stand in for similar unseen parts of the search base, and that can then be used to estimate the averages um, over the entire search base. Okay, so to Gain insight on our approach. We can look at it from two different angles. Um, so let's start with first from the with the sampling perspective. Perspective. Um, um, so consider the search tree in, uh, in in given here, and we can do the traditional approach and sample configurations one at a time independently, um, and then extract the estimate each sample stands for and take simply the average. Um, um, okay, so here we draw three samples. Um, we can compute the estimate for each and then take the average, giving us the total estimate for the partition function. Um, now, however, however <coughs> um, we could sample, we could extend this and sample multiple configurations simultaneously um, in some coordinated fashion, um, generating a subtree of the original search base um, and then computing, extracting the measure from each subtree and again averaging. So for example, we could sample two configurations simultaneously. Um, as in here, we could sample um, four configurations simultaneously as here. Um, so in general, um, um, that defines um, a sort of a class of, or, or a whole spectrum of algorithms. Um, um, so each, we refer to a 
a set of k configuration sampled simultaneously as a probe. Okay, so we can, when we increase the size of a probe, the number of configurations simultaneously sampled, we generate larger part of a subtree of the search space, which potentially can be more accurate, but it also takes more time. So, so now we have a full spectrum of algorithms. On the one end, uh, in the extreme, we have important sampling, uh, which generates one sample at a time. And the other extreme, we have um, the, the entire search base. So the advantage of the entire search base, it has, it's exact, it has zero variance, um, but it's typically exponential in size. Um, the advantage of sampling is that it's fast, but the accuracy is hard to estimate. Um, now, our approach, so, there, so, so we want to find some middle ground between them. So there are two extremes, but this approach only works if k simultaneous um, samples are more accurate than k independent samples. Okay, so we'll show that by using um, ideas such as stratification, um, we can get beneficial sampling versus enumeration trade-off. Okay, and now a, a different orthogonal perspective <coughs> is, is when we start look from search and then move towards sampling. Um, we know from search that compacting search space is beneficial for any search algorithm. And typically we look to identify um, identical portions of the search space and then merge them. Okay, now we can relax these requirements. Instead of requiring subtrees to be identical, we can just say let them be similar and then merge them um, and stochastically pick um, a one of them that represents the whole set of the similar subtrees. <coughs> So in, in both of these perspectives, um, we have abstraction that partitions nodes into sets that are similar in some way. So the key question is how do I identify um, similar and also identify them so that the abstractions would be useful or good. Um, in from search perspective, by similar, we mean typically things like um, um, subtrees that are identical or similar or, or condition at subproblems that are similar uh, from sampling perspective, we talk about similarity in terms of statistical notions such that we may want uh, variations between abstractions be as large as possible and variations within each abstraction to be um, as small as possible. So our approach is related to and generalizes stratified sampling <coughs> where um, the idea is to take the population split into a number of strata and sample within each strata and it can be shown that this um, reduces the variance of the estimator. Okay, so let me now demonstrate the algorithm, how it works in a simple problem of three binary variables, A, B, C. Um, on each arc, I have the cost of the particular partial assignment. Um, um, and then the abstractions are given as shades of blue or red. And if you notice, um, that the abstraction introduces stratification on each level. Okay, this is a simple OR search base. Okay, so let me, let, let's now quickly work through how the um, abstraction sampling works here. We start with um, empty assignments, so we instantiate variable A. Uh, they belong to different abstractions. Each one has a weight associated with it. Okay, there's nothing to do here. Then we refine this abstraction. We get four nodes. We instantiate variable B. And we notice there that there is two nodes that belong to the same abstraction. So we uh, randomly, uh, here we use uniform proposal, so we randomly pick one, let's say the right one, we reweigh it to account for the other one we eliminated. Um, and then there's another two nodes that also belong to the same abstraction. We randomly pick one and reweigh it to account for the one we eliminated. Um, and then we are done here with this level. So we proceed to next level. Uh, we refine the assignment. <coughs> Um, and then again, we notice there's two nodes that have the same abstraction. So we pick one randomly, we reweigh it. There's two more nodes that belong to the same abstraction. We randomly pick one and reweigh it, and then we are done. And then we can ex extract the answer by simply taking the weighted sum of the values of the configurations we generated. Okay. Um, so the next issue is so there was the OR case, the OR search basis is to extend that to AND OR. Um, by, uh, by doing sort of a naive, straightforward extension of this scheme, we need to be careful because it could give us um, subtrees that are invalid <coughs> and hence give us um, um, biased estimates. Um, in the paper, we have identified a sufficient condition that guarantees um, valid subtrees and hence unbiased estimates. 
Um, so this one, the first one is an example of, of, of invalid solution subtree and the second one is a proper or valid. So, so, so let me briefly mention uh, proposal distribution in our scheme. Um, just like um, any import sampling based scheme, we can use any proposal. Um, but obviously the more accurate proposal is the better performance. Um, in this paper, we use a proposal that is uh, so multiplicative proposal that is um, the pr proportional to weight of the node times G, the cost so far, and times H, which is the um, cost to go or the estimate of the um, conditioned um, subproblem. Uh, okay, so with this, um, I will mention three properties, the major properties of the algorithm we can show. The first, that it's unbiased. Um, the second says that if the proposal is exact, then the estimate is also exact for any choice of the abstraction function. And the third one says that if the abstraction function is exact, then estimate is exact for any choice of proposal. Okay, so we, basically intuition is um, if either abstraction is exact or proposal exact, then this scheme works fine or gives an exact estimate. Um, so finally, <coughs> uh, let me um, provide some experimental results demonstrating the power of this scheme. Um, here's a basic setup. We use four classes of problems. Some of them are from past UAI competitions. Some of them are encodings of um, applications such as applications from biology and genetics. Um, we use weighted mini bucket to generate the heuristic estimate that defines the proposal distribution. Um, we evaluate two context-based abstractions, um, randomized and relaxed. I'll get into detail on the next slide. Um, the competing algorithms we evaluate are two versions of our scheme, so OR and and or abstraction sampling, and then two competing algorithms. One is weighted mini bucket important sampling, and then the other one is iterated drawing graph-based sample search. And the questions we ask is sort of what is the um, impact of our scheme on variance? Um, how does OR do versus and OR? And sort of how do we compare with the competition and so on? Uh, so the first question, so first is, is the choice of abstractions. The critical question is, is how do I identify abstractions that are useful or good? Um, and in this paper, we use context-based abstraction. Um, a context is, is so given a pseudo tree at, at the bottom right here. So if you look at, let's say, variable f, um, its context is e and a. Um, and so the more uh, generally the context of a variable is a set of variables that separated, separate the subproblem, it roots from the rest of the problem. So once, let's say, if you define a and e, then the subproblem rooted at f is independent of the rest of the problem. Okay, so this is sort of from the search, more of a from the search perspective. So if you define the context, um, um, then you have uniquely identified all the um, uh, identical subproblems. Okay, but so, so we now with this, um, we try uh, two different uh, variations of the context-based abstractions. One is so-called relax, so that's motivated by search. And so in search where you collapse identical subproblems, only relax it by picking a some number of most recent um, context variables. Um, and a different is, is a so-called randomized context. This is motivi motivated by um, stratified stratification. And here we just pick some random subset of context variables. Okay. Um, so in our experiments, we um, here's some typical graph. Um, we try three different levels of abstractions. So in the black, there is abstraction level zero or sort of a baseline that corresponds to just simple important sampling. Um, then the red is the most refined abstractions. So 256 means we have, um, for each variable, we split into up to 256 abstractions. Um, and some value in between here is 16. Um, we measure error uh, by simply taking the difference in log space between the exact value, if available, or upper bound, if exact is not available, and between the estimate. Um, and so the graph here is a, is a running current estimate of the, um, of the estimate. Uh, so as expected, we see that when, let's say, we use baseline important sampling, we can generate a lot of probes. Um, and the size of each probe is very small. And if we move the higher refined abstraction, uh, the red one, for example, we can generate far fewer probes, but the size of each probe is, um, uh, is also much larger. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most important thing is that so we see the trade-off between, the question was always is, um, this scheme works if k simultaneous 
um, samples are better or more, or more efficient or more accurate than k-independent. So we see here that there's sort of extra gain from generating simultaneous configurations or sampling simultaneous configurations. Uh, so the dashed line here is the, is the exact um, log partition function. Um, okay, so let me make three observations from our experiment. So there's a lot of numbers here, but I'll first show um, how to read this table. Uh, so on the left, we have the problem types we experiment with, and they're split in two, so there's small and large. Uh, for small, we know the exact, um, exact answer. Um, so we use that for error measure, and for large ones we don't because the induced width is too large, so we use the upper bound. Um, we run the experiments for up to one hour, um, uh, but we report results at one minute mark for a quick estimate, um, then 60 minutes for most accurate estimate, hopefully, and then sometime 20 minute mark in between. Um, we test with, so our schemes have OR and AND OR source trees. Um, and we use relaxed context-based and um, randomized contexts. Um, and then each sort of time point, let's say 60 minute cutoff, we use, we report three different, these three different abstraction levels. A0 is the baseline important sampling, A2 is the most refined, and A1 is somewhere in between. And so each number is the error for this algorithm and this time cutoff, okay? Um, so with this said, um, the observation from this um, table to take away is that randomized abstraction um, systematically is equal or better than the baseline important sampling. Um, so I've highlighted, say, if, if we take the 60 minute cutoff, I highlighted the best performance. Um, and it's um, random, and so we can compare it with the baseline. In green here, we see that the randomized abstraction sampling is always better, um, except in one case. <laughs> so for this pedigree small problems, um, it's roughly equal, um, but it's because the baseline is already accurate here, very accurate. <clears throat> um, okay, but this, uh, what this conclusion or observation suggests that this abstraction sampling is a robust scheme, um, especially in cases where the proposal is um, not accurate or is too hard to compute, um, because we see um, sizable improvement when the proposal is weak and we see no deterioration when the, when the baseline is already strong. Uh, okay, next slide, we compare and or versus or um, so let's see if I, so the observation here is, is that and or generally as a rule outperforms or. Uh, so for the um, 60 minute time off, I've highlighted the best performance among the all algorithms, or and or and any abstraction. Um, and so we see that the best performance is always and or. Except again for this pedigree small, um, where all of them are roughly equal or about equal um, because the baseline's already good, then the abstraction sample can't really do much better. Um, and so finally, uh, here's a comparison with our scheme with some of the competing algorithms. So the competing algorithms are a weighted mini bucket important sampling, um, which is sort of a variation of, sl it's, it's, it's quite close to what our important sampling is, but there's s some differences, but this was introduced, I think, a couple of years ago when it's considered a, a competitive algorithm. Another one is e e um, iterated join graph propagation sample search. Um, and so here I've highlighted, let's say at, again at 60 minutes, um, I highlighted the performance of the best algorithms, best performing ones, and I see that out of um, seven cases, out of uh, six times the abstraction sampling is the best, and only one time the blue one when the iterated join graph propagation um, is better. Um, maybe some future directions. Um, um, the main um, area for research we want to focus is, is in sort of what is a good abstraction or how to identify how to create good abstractions. Um, and then also explore trade-offs between uh, portion of search space sampled uh, versus number of nodes, ac accuracy of sampling probability uh, versus time memory needed to compute it, sampling in OR versus indoor space, um, sampling search trees versus search graphs. Um, thank you.